everybody, Dodgy Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2, the Italian jobs. I am here in Taranto today, and as you see, I've got a mobile crane there, the Tex Rex, as it's called in the game, and we're taking this north to Ancona. So, let's hit the road. It's, see, it's raining yet again. We've got another rainy start to an Italian job. Is that my exit? I don't think so. Right, let's see if we can find the exit here. I have had this problem on a couple of journeys recently where, you know, I've driven up to something thinking it's the exit and then had to back up. And as you'll know if you watched my recent American Truck Simulator video, backing up is not my strong point. Still need to work on that. Okay, this looks like the exit. Indeed it is. So, the first person portion of this journey, rather, is going to be night, but we should be riding through to daybreak and into the next morning. Six hours is the estimated time for this trip, so I guess we'll be arriving about 9 a.m. As you can see, I now have more than 100,000 euros saved up from all my jobs so far. Decent amount. I'm getting close to the point where I, I can buy a decent truck now. I think oh, I'm going to save up to the point where I can buy like one of the one of the better trucks available rather than something small and crappy. I kind of made that mistake in American Truck Simulator 2. And then you know it's a, a rather than then expanding my garage and buying a second truck, I ended up spending loads of money on upgrading the original truck I bought, so yeah, we'll be looking to get something nice and big, something capable of pulling those heavy loads, but for now we'll just stick with the quick jobs. So I'm in southern Italy at the moment, of course. There we go, the rain stopped already. Um, and I'm looking to make my way north and then once we're done with Italy I'll maybe either go through Germany or France to get back to the UK and then once we're back in the UK that will be the time get a new truck uh, spend that money we've earned on the continent and then we can start making our business from there so from there I would look into doing a series to go up and down the UK and explore some of the locations there as well. Okay, here we go. Toll Road coming up. Ooh, just a small entrance this time. Just a couple of booths on either side. It does it. Listen to that. That's quite a chunky motor sound, isn't it? Obviously, needs to be quite a powerful motor to pull this heavy crane. But good noise insulation on these Euro trucks, I find. The um, trucks over an American truck simulator, you get a lot more of a kind of roaring motor noise when you're inside the cabin as well but with these trucks they tend to be kind of they run nice and quietly inside the cabin and you only get that big motor noise on your outside I'm sure that's a faithful recreation of the trucks themselves okay, obviously no need for us to rest that's one advantage of the quick jobs I suppose you you just keep going I mean, if you look at these videos sequentially, I think I just, you know, we keep going, we drop something off, take a new job, drop something off, take a new job, the game time doesn't seem to demand that I sleep, which is interesting. Okay, there was a car coming up behind me, I didn't notice that, but okay, it wasn't necessary to uh, cut <laughs> that driver off so much, but... I am wary of those uh, junctions where 
suddenly the two lanes just become one lane going straight and one lane peeling off. But okay, no damage done. So yes, we're just passing the outskirts of Bari. Of course we were there a couple of episodes ago. There is a playlist, links to the playlist in the description if you want to catch up on all my jobs. For Euro Truck Simulator I have playlists for these Italian jobs, as I'm calling them. Uh, we also have the All Roads Lead to Rome series, which is kind of where we began. And my um, special delivery series. There's only three episodes on that at the moment. I'll, uh, I'll wait until my driving skills have developed a bit more before before I attempt more special deliveries, special transports in the future. If you want to know why, go and watch the most recent video there. You'll also find links down there to my American Truck Simulator episodes. I haven't divided those into series. It's just uh, one list of all the recordings I've done for that. And Football Manager, if you're into that as well. There's a Football Manager series going on at the moment uh, with Genshler Bili in Turkey. So there's a link to that playlist as well. If you dig around on my channel a bit, you'll also find my Football Manager mobile series. So quite a bit of stuff going on on the channel at the moment. Just trying to keep things ticking over. I mean, the aim is yeah, two episodes apiece from Euro Truck Simulator to an American Truck Simulator a week. I think that's manageable, especially if I go for the jobs that you know take like 15. 20 minutes, something like that. And uh, Football Manager, I'm looking there, three or four episodes a week. So that all adds up to uh, roughly daily uploads. Generally, I try to have my episodes drop at 6 p.m. GMT, whether it's uh, Truck Simulator or Football Manager. Although, of course, if there's ever a day when I've got two videos coming out, uh, one of them will come out a bit earlier I guess. Maybe 3 p.m. GNT or 9 p.m. GNT. I haven't decided on that yet. I haven't got to that point yet where I need to schedule a couple of different videos on the same day. That's a path to cross when we come to it. But I uh, do hope you are enjoying these videos whether you're a truck simulator fan or a football manager fan or maybe you're a fan of both. So please make sure you uh, hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. And any feedback is very much appreciated. Just let me know what you think of the videos in the comments. Um, you know, my commentary, if you want to comment on the commentary, let me know. Uh, if you've got anything about the videos themselves, the style and the presentation, you know, all feedback's welcome. I'm um, learning, very much learning and developing at this moment, so, you know, I'm open to audience feedback. And yeah, it's been quite a bit of growth on the channel over the last several days, a couple of weeks. We're now past 30 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who's subscribed, whether you're a new subscriber or you've been subscribed for a couple of months. Thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. I'm quite pleased with how the channel's grown so far. I'm not expecting to, you know, suddenly be up to several hundred subscribers. I know it's all baby steps. And certainly getting uh, getting more views as a result of that as well. Football Manager videos are proving quite popular. Of course, Truck Simulator it helps to engage with the community on Facebook and share the videos there. Football Manager has an established community. It's more on Twitter than Facebook. But always good to you know, find other people who are making similar videos, see what they're doing. What I'm doing at the moment, um, with Football Manager in particular, um, of course, we've got a you know, big names, the guys with tens of thousands of subscribers, and yeah, I do watch some of their stuff, but I've been making an effort to seek out and follow the people who have uh, have a smaller number of subscribers, so the people who are, you know, around the one, two thousand mark, and then some, another layer of people who have got, you know, a couple of hundred subscribers, just to see, 
what they're doing and how they're developing and growing their channel. It's all a good learning experience. Certainly on for the football manager side of things, I'd recommend uh, Grey Hair Gaming. He has uh, some very good series going. Cultured Left Foot, I've been enjoying his as well. Captain Goodspeed, I've been watching recently. And then a, a little bit smaller, I've been following uh, Tom. Is it Tom? Tom XOX. I'll have to check the exact username on that. Sorry about that, Tom. And uh, Old Lady Plays. It's a, a good channel to follow as well. It's all been good so far. Uh, on the truck simulator side of things, I've found plenty of people with a large following. So, obviously, people like Squirrel, who also has his face in the game. And uh, Jeff Favinago, I think his name is. Um, there's a couple of others, and they all have a large number of subscribers. Uh, it's more difficult, uh, it seems, to find truck simulator channels with those smaller number of subscribers, those smaller numbers, like I've been finding for FM. There's Crafty Gamer. Uh, you could check his videos out as well. Like me, he's doing Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator videos. Um, yeah, but if you know anyone else, uh, a kind of small size channel that's doing truck simulator videos, please let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to discover some more. And, you know, have a look, see what other people are doing. Um, and then, you know, pick up some tips, maybe. Steal a few ideas, or borrow a few ideas. Exchange a few ideas. That's what I mean, of course. Okay, well, day is breaking, dawn is breaking, as we head north, getting a bit more traffic on the roads, lots of early morning truck drivers, or overnight truck drivers, on the way, oop, oop, getting a bit close there, sorry about that, my friend. There we go, oh, and we got a parallel road there, oh, train track, train track, sorry, not another road. Got a train track running parallel to us. Okay, so it's been a fairly straightforward journey so far. I've been waffling away about YouTube channels and we've just been plowing along on the highway. That's all good. That's all good. Oh, I did have a nice, uh, it's, it makes a nice relaxing change. One of my recent American Truck Simulator videos, which I recommend you check out. Um, I took a double trailer over these twisty mountainous back roads between Fresno and Las Vegas. It was quite uh, an experience to drive there. Now that's one where I thought, you know, I really wish I had a proper gaming steering wheel setup. That would have been uh, quite an experience, I think, to use the steering wheel and the pedals to navigate that particular road. Okay, so just over 70 miles left on this trip, two hours of in-game driving. There were longer routes available to me, I could have gone a bit north. Um, actually, sorry, I'm getting confused. Am I heading to Pescara or Ancona? I think I said Pescara at the start of the video. But let me just check this out. Yes, Pescara, okay. Ancona was one of the other options. Ancona was one of the other options. But yeah, that would have been a slightly longer trip. And I, there was also somewhere, I forget the name of it now, Triena maybe, that was even further north. So I have unlocked those longer range deliveries now. But um, I'm actually recording this in the morning. I've just dropped my kids off at school and I've got like a an hour and a half window before I need to leave the house and get to work so this is the time I'm using at, at the moment for these truck simulator videos so I thought I don't want to do anything too long so then you know I don't know how my boss would react to that if I told him I was late for work because I was creating content for my YouTube channel virtual trucking Okay, exiting the toll road now. Uh, 
Yeah, so maybe we are going to get a few twisty country roads to finish this ride off. Well, I have to remember that I do have quite a long trailer. Let's see how much this toll road is. Not that I'm paying for it. This is a quick job after all. Oop, almost forgot to press the brake then. 63 euros paid by your employer. Thank you very much. Police there. Watching out for anyone trying to skip the toll booth, no doubt. Okay, so we do have a bit of a bit of a bend coming up here. Good. Nothing's coming, no oncoming traffic, so that makes life a bit easier. Probably switch my lights off now. Okay, don't want to go too fast here. I yeah, wouldn't want to wipe out the mini coach there. Okay, just keeping an eye on the mirrors. All looks good so far. New wind turbine is just rotating gently. Bit of morning breeze there. Still got their lights on. I'll put my dim lights on. Okay, looks like a narrow track there, obviously, for another company, but not the one I'm going to today. There's a lovely forested area here. Now, there is another place on the map called Casino. Or Casino. Um. And I noticed the drop-off point is kind seems to be in between Pescara and Casino, so I wonder if I'll be able to discover both places, or will it just say I've discovered Pescara? The aim here is, of course, to visit every location in Italy before we make our way back to the UK. On the way back to the UK, if I'm passing, th whether I pass through Germany or France, the aim wouldn't be to visit every location in those cities. That will be for a future series on the channel. But once I'm back in the UK, I would like to do the length and breadth of the UK, get all the way up to Aberdeen and uh, explore the south coast and all of that. Oh, there's a nice twisty road by the looks of things on the navigation there. Probably not a good idea to tempt it with this crane. Though we do have a few twists and turns coming up here. We're well into the Italian countryside now. Very nice houses there. Kind of place where you could spend an idyllic summer vacation. Write some poetry, perhaps. And we've got the signs there warning about deer. I wonder if that, that is actually a feature of the game. Like, do you get animals appearing on the road every so often. Maybe not, because people just end up smashing into them. Yeah, let's uh, slow down a touch. Oh, mountains off in the distance, the Apennines, I think they're called. Not like the Pennines, is it? Back in New Yorkshire. Okay, slow things down, let gravity do most of the work here in terms of rolling the truck. Oh, quite a tight turning to make here. Okay, so Casino is off in the other direction. Okay, there's cars coming, but hopefully they're going to slow down. a police car as well. <laughs> um, excuse me. Could you, like, back up a bit? Got a truck with a heavy load here trying to come through. Uh, excuse me, police. Uh, could you back up a little bit? I, I, I do respect the fact that you're an officer of the law, but, you know, um... You mean, do I have to honk my horn at you, police? Do I have to honk my horn at you? I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna do it. What? Is that... Oh, come on. Uh, you've got this great game, wonderful motory sound effect, and that's the horn. Uh, I think I need to visit the workshop and download a proper horn. Okay, uh, so what do we do here? Okay, maybe there's just enough space for me to get past. Okay, nothing to worry about there. But the policeman could have backed up. I mean, he was taking him. I guess he was showing trust in my driving skills that I was going to be able to uh, to just sneak past there. I think there, yeah, I forgot, of course, in Euro Truck Simulator, you have these, I don't know what you'd call them, but the, you know, the engine is under the driver. There's no nose of the vehicle sticking out. Whereas American Truck Simulator, you've got that big front end to consider. Ooh, something of a hairpin bend coming up here. I better watch that speed a bit as we approach this turning. Ah, okay, it's one of those where the road continues, but not for me. Okay, we made it around there nicely. The trucker behind me. Oop, little frame rate drop there. Sorry about that. The trucker behind me is able to pass the invisible barrier. And we are approaching our drop-off point. Well, that was a nice journey, I think. A nice relaxing journey. Good to do that transition from day to night. A uh, little bit of intrigue with the police at the end. And if you can recommend any good downloads for more realistic sounding horns, then please let me know in the comments. Okay, and into the yard we go. There's a, a nice straightforward entrance for once. Oh, I probably <laughs> actually was supposed to enter from here. Oh, and maybe now even for the even for the quick parking it's going to be an issue. It's going to tell me to turn around. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, the Let's Play It's Safe is now behind me. Ah! Okay then. Let's give this a go, people. Let's give this a go. We've been... I've been shying away from it for too long. It's probably not the best time to be experimenting with this. Carrying, you know, a huge crane rather than a regular trailer. But when have I ever chosen the best time to do things? Okay, let's plan this out. So... Okay. Okay. I just need to back things up. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're on the right track. We're on the right track. Just needs to come around a little bit more. Oh, 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 oh! This is close, but oh, uh, oh. Um. What do I do here, people? You tell me. Now, oh, wait. If I turn the wheels that way, it's, it's going to kind of push the trailer around the other way a bit, isn't it? Okay. Straighten up. Uh, now what? No, that's not it. That's not it. Let's try the other way. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow, oh, I nearly had it then. Okay, let's just edge forward a bit. There we go. Now, can I back this up straight enough? Come on, come on, let's do it, come on. Let's try 
Yeah, this view is a good one for reversing. Okay. Okay, come on. Let me have this one. Oh, okay, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there, folks. I know this has been a bit haphazard, but I'm nearly, I'm nearly, I've nearly done this. No, no! It's not going to give me that, is it? Okay. So close! Come on, come on, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me... Oh. I'm sure any more experienced truck simulator drivers along you watching this are probably screaming at your screen right now. Or you've just thought, what is this guy doing? I would have parked that with ease. So close, so close. If this just lets me back it up. Oh. Okay. Right, right, right. Let's get this. Come on, come on, we've got this. Let's just make sure those wheels are straight. Looks pretty straight to me. Let's just take one of those uh, up close views. Okay. Wheels are looking straight. Alright. Is that what I need to do? Momentarily. No, that's not what I needed to do. Ah, oh, come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. Stick around, folks. Don't skip over to the next video. Just stick around and see if we can do this thing. Okay. Got my wheels up straight now. Come on. Come on. Come on, and... Yes! 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 We've finally done it! A reverse park, live on the channel, or, you know, recorded for the channel, whatever. Finally done it. Oh my god. That... That was brutal. But we've done it. Okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So... <whistles> parking took almost as long as the journey itself. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please... Give me a like. Come on, I deserve a like for finally getting the reverse park done. So give me a like for that. And subscribe to the channel for more comedy parking, truck simulating, football manager, all that good stuff. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you on the road again soon.